I've been struggling around the Overkill warehouse to get a solid wired internet connection to the right places, and it occurred to me, if we're cutting edge enough to build robotic artificial intelligence 3D gaming machines, then what the heck am I doing stretching used and abused Cat6 cables all over the warehouse from the Wi-Fi router? I need a solid connection out in the main bay for testing. I'm Lucas from Overkill Gaming, and today we're diving into the HPE Networking Instant On Switch Series 1960, the stackable backbone that will be keeping our studio stutter free. Now, the one I have is the S0 F35A multi gig variant. It gives you eight class, four gigabyte PoE Plus ports for everyday devices, four multi gig, 2.5 gigabyte PoE Plus Plus ports that push up to 60 watts each for Wi Fi 6 and 60 access points, and the same two 10 gigabyte base T Plus and two gigabyte SFP Plus uplinks you see on the bigger siblings, all backed by a hefty 480 watt shared PoE budget and a non blocking 160 gigabyte per second switching fabric inside a 1U metal chassis. Spin it around and you'll still find that bright QR luggage tag for one tap onboarding. It has whisper quiet fan trays, so even the compact 12 port model looks right at home in a high performance overkill gaming rack. There are multiple variants of the HP Networking Instant On 1960, including a 24 port non PoE workhorse, the JL86A for straight gigabyte edge duty. Also a 24 port model with a 370 watt PoE budget, the JL87A, including a 24 port non PoE workhorse, the JL86A for straight gigabyte edge duty. Also a 24 port model with a 370 watt PoE budget, the JL87A for powering cameras and APs, and also a 48 port beast with 600 watts of PoE headroom, the JL89A, all of them sporting twin 10 gigabyte E copper plus twin 10 gigabyte SPF plus uplinks for backbone speed. This switch really is plug and play. Setup time, the Instant On app auto detects the hardware super quick, less than it takes to microwave a bag of popcorn. Setting up the Instant On mobile app is as simple as downloading it on iOS or Android, signing in, tapping create site, and then giving the site a name. Next, pull out the bright orange QR tag on the 1960, scan it or enter the serial number, and the switch onboards itself in under two minutes. No console cables or IP hunting required. Inside the app, you land on a tile-based home screen that services site health, alerts, connected clients, device status, and live app application usage for instant troubleshooting. From there, you can treat up to four 1960s as one virtual chassis, push VLANs, ACLs, and even firmware to every port in one tap, or rebuild the stack automatically if a member fails. You can also schedule after hours firmware upgrades, automate PoE, power save schedules, clone entire sites when rolling out to new locations, all free for the life of the hardware because the cloud service carries absolutely no license or subscription fees. It also has enterprise grade security, 802.1X ACLs, DHCP snooping, comes baked in with no hidden license fees, and finally, HPE backs the entire 1960 line with a limited lifetime warranty and 24 seven live chat so your support ticket never sleeps. Before installing the switch, I was getting about 209 download and 31 upload, and now I'm getting 347 download and 32 upload, little bit better ping rate as well. But where the true power comes in is when we decide to soon, I will be installing my NAS over here directly into the 10 gigabyte port to see how it speeds up my editing workflow too over local area network. So quick lightning round. Is it a router? Nope. You pair it with your existing router for serious wired muscle. Do you still need an internet service provider? Of course. Subscription fees? None. You buy once and you manage forever. If ready to future proof your network, smash that like button and check the link in the description to grab your HPE networking instant on 1960 switch today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.